Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, you will learn how to read data from a table using SQL Alchemy ORM. To read data from a table, you need to query it. We will query the table to get all the data in it, to get ordered data, and to get filtered data. Finally, as a bonus, we will count the number of results being returned in a query. Let's code these in the editor. First, we will get all the data in the table. For that, we need to query the student table. All the data returned from this query is now stored in the students variable. To get individual record, we need to loop through students. If I execute this program, I can now be able to see the name of all the students in the table. Here I have Jaren, Anita, and Jeffrey. Similarly, I can print multiple fields. Here I can get all the data about each student. I can also assign each of these to a particular variable and use it in further processing. Next, we will get the data of the students ordered by the student's name. If we see the result of the previous query, we can see that it is not in an ordered manner. It's first Jerin, Anita, and Jaffin. Let's execute this program and see how the result is. Here we can see that it is now in an ordered manner. Anita comes first, then Jaffin, then Jerin. Next, we will filter out the result of only Jerin. Here you can see that it returns the result of only Jerem. Next, let's filter out the result of only Jerem and Anita. Here you can see that only Jared and Anita is been returned. Here we are using a filter operator called OR. There are different filter operators. The complete list of filter operators are provided in the official documentation. It has filter operators like equals, not equals, like, case insensitive like, in, not in, is, is not, and, or, match, etc. Finally, let's get the count of the results being returned. I will use this same query. Now to get the count, I'll just use count here. If I print it out, when I execute, okay. Thanks for watching the video guys. In the next video, we will learn how to update an already existing data in the table.